In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys seven different ways on how to lace your Air Jordan 5s. So if you've never owned a pair of Jordan 5s or you're looking to do a new style, this just might be the video for you. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. So first things first, this is how the shoe looks like when it comes dead stock, fresh out the box. But I wanna do a little twist. We're gonna go with the black metallic five and we're gonna put the white laces on them. So let's go ahead and get started with style number one. And that's actually going to be the dead stock look, which is this right here. So what people typically do is they loosen the bib just a little bit because there's excess laces that come hanging out of the side like this, right? So what they're gonna do is just loosen this up and then pull a little bit on each side. That way they can actually fit their foot inside of the shoe. And then all they do is tuck the laces right back in and put the shoe on and rock them. So after seeing that dead stock look, how do you feel about it? Me personally, I never really rock my fives like that, but I know a lot of people like to, so I had to show you guys. Now let's take it to style number two. This one used to be one of my personal favorites and we call this the loose fit. So what we're gonna do again is pull the laces out right here and see how the bib is upside down. What we want to do is pull the bib all the way off of the laces. We're gonna loosen these up just a little bit. And then we're gonna actually take these laces right here and pull them out from the top loop. So now they're only down here on the bottom. They're gonna put this on the front end like this and run it through the bottom, the back end of the bib. Now that we have the bib right here, we're gonna throw it through the top. So now we're gonna come in and just let the laces hang a little bit on the sides, maybe a couple inches down just like this. Then we're gonna pull the bib, tighten it just a little bit. That way we got some slack and then loosen down the rest of the laces right here on the bottom end of the foot. So that way you have that really, really loose fit on the shoe. You kind of got the bib still kind of vibing up inside of there, but it's that really loose vibe. And it's kind of gonna look something like this. So let's see what these look like on foot. This is probably one of my most commonly rock styles when it comes to the Air Jordan 5, but I have been low key switching it up a little bit over the past few years, which we'll get into in the next couple styles. But next we're gonna go with the bow tie. Hey, real quick, if you guys are getting any value out of this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And I want to let you know, I have a full community of dedicated sneakerheads looking to take their game to the next level and investing in the shoes, growing their collections. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you hit the link down below in the description, get signed up. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the inside. All right, let's get back to the video. So for this next style, we wanna make sure that the bib is off and then we have the laces up here to this white piece here. And now we're gonna to go to the top end of the shoe, just right here, the next hole up. So we're gonna cross over, going from inside out, just like all the other laces are at the bottom end of the foot. And then we're gonna put the bib through here. So we're gonna go through the bottom, back through the top, just like we did earlier, bottom, back through the top. Okay, now we wanna cut some slack on it and then loosen it up. That way we got some room to put our foot inside of the shoe because when it's, when it's too tight like that, it just look kinda drunk, it don't look too good. You don't want the bow tie to be too big, right? So you gotta make sure you slack it up just a little bit. Okay, that's cool. Now we're gonna put a bow tie on top of the bib right here. It's gonna look something like this once you put your foot in it. So let's go ahead and try these on foot and see what they look like. So this isn't one of my personal preferences, but I have definitely seen a lot of people rock with this style. Again, I have no problem with it, just not for me. Let me know how you guys feel about this style down below. Let's take it to the next style. So coming out of our dead stock look right here, we have the shoelaces sticking out at the top end. And we're gonna actually take the bib off and we're gonna call this the no bib style. So really all we're gonna do is just loosen it up and rock them without the bib on there. So this is either the loose or the bow tie. You can go either way. We're gonna loosen it up real good. You see what that looks like. So it's kind of kind of have that little sloppy style to it right there. We're gonna try this one on foot, see what it looks like, and then we'll tie it up with a bow tie and see what that looks like as well. Now 
I've seen a lot of people rock with this style simply because it's a lot easier without having to worry about the bib or falling off or loosening it up or pulling your shoestrings down or whatever it may be. It's easier to just throw the shoe on, tie them up or leave them super loose. So, so I've definitely rocked these before with the loose fit without the bib on them, but it's a Jordan 5 and I feel like you gotta have it, which brings the next one because I think this one is actually kind of cool. And that's gonna be putting the lace lock at the front of the shoe, similar to the Jordan 6 vibe. So this is actually two different pieces right here. And what you can do is pull the red piece out of here and you got your plastic piece. So we're gonna get rid of the plastic piece and we're just gonna use the red piece. And it has a little Nike Air right here on the top of it. So what we wanna do is actually put this upward right here. So we're gonna have to unlace the entire shoe and lace it back up real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So what we're gonna wanna do is feed the lace right here through the shoe lock and pull this through. And then we're gonna make this even throughout the lace. So that way it's in the center of the laces and then we can put this inside and start lacing these joints up. So we're gonna start from the outside and work our way in, pull through. Same thing with this one on the same side, just like the regular dead stock look, except for now we have the lace lock inside of there. So we're gonna pull these through and then we're gonna make sure that this is even. And we wanna make sure that that Nike logo is showing on the top of the lace lock because one side doesn't have a logo on it and the other side does. So it looks dope when it's got that Nike logo sticking out right there. Bang, just like that. Okay, so now we're at the top and you got two options just like earlier. You can let it hang down a couple inches on the side and loosen it up, or you can tighten it up and put a bow tie here on the top and rock it with the bow tie like this. So let me know what you guys think about this style down below. I know it's a little bit of work with unlacing the shoe and lacing it all the way back up, but it doesn't take too long. And I think it's a pretty good look. Nice little switch up. We typically see this done on the Jordan 6, but you could also do it on the Jordan 5. Another one to consider as well is moving this lace lock up into the center of the foot, just in the middle of these laces. Now let's take it to the final style. Every single time we do a lacing tutorial, we gotta put the bars in there. What do I mean by the bars? I'm talking about the bars. On the laces, we gotta put the bars. So we got the laces on both opposite sides right here. What we're gonna wanna do with the right side is start with the first hole up, well I guess second hole up. But we're gonna go up right here and then we're gonna pull through to the opposite side. Bang, bang, and let this sit. And we're gonna tuck this one underneath it and then go up to the third hole right here. And then we're gonna pull through to the opposite side to the third hole. Bang, bang. All right, so from three, we're gonna go to five. And pull through. And then from two over here, we're gonna go to four. So it's odds and evens all the way up. Switching sides, pull through. You see we got the bars going right here. We got three, four bars right here. Then we're gonna go from four to six. Bang, bang, pull through. We're gonna take the one from five right here. We're gonna stay on five, go across. Bang, bang, pull up. We're gonna take this one all the way to the top. See what that looks like. There's gonna be a lace showing, so we're gonna skip that one. I've never seen this done before, so we're gonna tuck this in actually below the tongue. So once you get to the five right there, then with six, we're gonna go across to six. Bang, bang, pull through, tuck that in. And as you can see right here, we got the bar style. Now I ain't seen this too often, so I'm looking forward to see what this look like on foot. kind of solid what you guys think drop a comment down below in the comment section you know we always got to finish the video with the bars so if you guys want to see lacing tutorials on any other jordan retros or other sneakers make sure you check out the playlist that i have for you guys as well i'm slowly getting it done with every single retro we're gonna have a video with a bunch of different styles for every single one for y'all so make sure you guys check that out i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you in another one all right y'all i'm out
I would never let you down. If you made it this far to the video and you're still thinking about it, hit the link down below in the description, get set up, join the community. I'm excited to see you on the inside. We got a live meetup coming very soon and hopefully you guys are gonna be there. If not, we have one every single month, plus community giveaways. We're giving away shoes every single month. There's definitely a lot of knowledge and networking on the inside as well. And I'm looking forward to helping more people buy their first property simply because of sneakers. I'm here to help you. If you want any help, make sure you guys sign up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Yo, if you guys made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know. Which one do you like more, the Fire Red or the Metallic 5? This has always been a hard debate. I really love the Fire Red, but I rock the Metallics more. So I'm gonna go with the Metallic Fire for this one. I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.